Hi, this is Eduardo Angel and I would like to walk you through my importing, batch renaming, organizing workflow for videos and stills. And this is the workflow that I have been fine tuning pretty much every day for several weeks as I am traveling around the world. So I have to rely on a very simple yet complete workflow. So the first step is to insert your memory card. The second step, I'm gonna be using Adobe Creative Cloud applications. As you can see, I have uh, Adobe Bridge, Adobe Lightroom, Premiere Pro, and Media Encoder. Those four are gonna be my main applications for this uh, workflow. So I'm gonna launch Adobe Bridge. And as soon as it launches, it shows me what's on my desktop. I'm going to click on my memory card and this is the folder for yesterday. I shot 97 images, raw files, and 57 MP4s. And I'm gonna select all of them. And as you can see here at the bottom, 97, 57, so I have 154 items. So I select all my assets, and this is where the magic starts to happen. I go to Tools here at the very top, in batch rename you can also hit command shift and r uh, as a shortcut and under batch rename i already have a predefined preset i already have these organized the way i like it and my preset seems complex but it's fairly simple if you have used uh, adobe lightroom to create presets or even itunes to create presets you will be uh, very used to this kind of organization. My my first criteria is the date created and what I like about this is that the application reads the data from the file itself. I don't have to remember when it was created. Um, then the time created uh, by hour, minute and second, same thing. Then I have the option to enter a specific text and I'm using three cameras right now so I can select uh, which of the three cameras I shot with and the sequence number and in the past I have used sequence numbers um, for the whole project but because I'm gonna be working uh, with the same assets for about a year I chose to create the sequence numbers per day per camera so each camera will start uh, will start at one till the last uh, image or video created on that specific day. So the first step uh, when, when, when this opens is where are these assets going? And I hit browse right here and I'm gonna browse my hard drive. It's called Sabbatical Video One Master. Inside I have a, a folder called Original Assets and inside I have Original Footage. Inside Original Footage, as you can see here, I organize all my assets by day and by camera. And here you see 1, 3, 6, 7, 10. Here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2, 4, 6, 7. If they're missing, it's because I deleted them afterwards. So at this point, I'm downloading everything and then I make a backup of all my assets. Then I go to Adobe Premiere Pro and or Lightroom and start editing and deleting stuff. But at this point, I'm gonna uh, dump all my assets from yesterday from one camera into this folder. So under original footage, I'm gonna create 2016. And yesterday was September 9th. And this was my camera B. And sequence number, I start with one. And you can see here at the bottom how the file naming will work. Instead of having p101073.mp4, which means absolutely nothing to me, it will be named the date, the time, the place, the camera, and the sequence number. It sounds like a long file name, but after 10 months working on the same project, it will be extremely helpful. And here, the destination folder, I can rename the files in the same folder, which doesn't really work because I'm copying the files directly from the memory card. I can move them to another folder, which could work, but then I have to move them back to my hard drive. Or I can copy them 
to my external hard drive, which is what I want. I want to copy the assets from my memory card to my external hard drive and batch rename. Let's do some movie magic here and speed this up a little bit. Great. So we copy it the files from the memory card to the external hard drive and as doing so we batch rename all these files let's triple check let's go to our desktop hard drive and under original assets and original footage we have the folder we just created which is 2016-0909 and as you can see here we have all the files organized in a very nice clean simple way by date by time by location by camera and in sequence number that's how I organize all my assets to begin with the next step is to import these files the stills into Adobe Lightroom and create proxies so we can cut all these files on a laptop as we are traveling the world.